Hey there folks, it's Antar, and I am bringing you a new battle today, and guess what? It is not a little cup battle! I know! The shock! The shock! The amazement! It's not a little cup battle! Uh, my opponent today is Serps of P Pokemon Showdown, uh, and uh, this is, as you might be able to tell, an OU tier battle. Um, my team, so basically this is Aura, this was a team designed for Aurus. I uh, playtested my old OU team, my one that I one that I was using at the end of XY, uh, and it was doing just fine on the ladder, but the problem with it is that it's pretty stally and pretty slow, and I just didn't enjoy the playstyle very much, and I thought, you know what, I want something that's a little bit more offensive. So what I did was I chose four Pokemon that with proper setting up can destroy and demolish teams. Uh, so I've got Mega Metagross, which actually doesn't need setting up. Um, I've got a Talonflame, which is not the Talonflame you've seen before. And then I've got a Keldeo, uh, which you'll see more about Keldeo in a bit. And then you've got Superior, who does not make an appearance in this battle. Um, so you will not see anything having to do with Superior today. So, he leads off with Venusaur, I lead off with Rotom. Rotom is not the Rotom you've seen before. I always name my Rotom Tachikoma. This is a new breed. This is bold. Um, a physically defensive pivot, and I just either lead with that or my um, Landorus, who you're going to see more about Landorus in a minute. Anyway, against his Venusaur, I decide I'm going to go ahead and switch out. The switch is extremely obvious. Talonflame's main purpose in the world is to counter Mega Venusaur, but, you know, I send it out anyway. So um, I did the Volt Switch just to basically to see, like, if he had been offensive, he would have outsped and then probably KO'd with Giga Drain. Because, again, I'm physically defensive, not specially defensive. Um, but that would have been useful information to have. So now I know that he is um, just the standard defensive build, which means I cannot actually take him out with a single Brave Bird. He also had a Skarmory, but that's fine. I was expecting a switch of some kind, and I just go for the Swords Dance. Really, the only Pokemon on his team who just completely would have, you know, Heatran would have been probably the best switch in there. And I was a little bit surprised he didn't go for it. But I guess he was figuring I'd go for the Brave Bird. Here he makes an excellent, excellent play and just does the straight double switch out into Heatran. And so I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz and it's going to give um, him the Flash Fire Boost. Uh, he's got an Air Balloon, so this is not the Assault Vest set that is so freaking common. Air Balloon also means that my Landorus T will not be able to hit him with an Earthquake. All good information to have. Anyway, I decide to actually stay in, even though I'm Leech Seated, and go for the Brave Bird just to get some damage onto him. And also, I really th think that he's probably going... Oh yeah, and mainly to break his Air Balloon. So it almost does half. Um, also, I really thought that he was probably going to set up rocks, and I didn't want to ever be bringing this thing in on that low of health. So, um, I figured, you know, probably the next thing's going to happen, if he's running Stealth Rock, he might be, might be a more defensive build. He's probably just going to Roar next turn. And yeah, so he's not running Assault Vest, so I know that he definitely can run Roar. So I go ahead and Roost up here, get up to decently high health, and again, here I'm really expecting the Roar, but instead he shows me he's got the Toxic, and he goes for the Toxic, and that is hella... Hella unfortunate, because now there's just way too much residual damage, and even if I were just constantly roosting and he, were, he weren't attacking for whatever reason, um, my health would just be getting sapped low. I mean, granted, I'd be getting, recovering more than you know, whatever, but the point is, I'm just going to have to withdraw right here, and I'm just going to have to deal with the fact that when I bring it back in, it's going to be at like a quarter health. So go now on Itachi Koma, which is my best switch in here. Uh, Keldeo would have been okay too, but Keldeo does not have the defenses that Rotom have. It's, even though Rotom is a physically defensive set, it can still take a Flash Fire boosted um, Fire Blast from what's probably an offensive Heatran. Well, I guess it's not probably that offensive because, you know, running some supporting moves. Anyway, out's going to come Venusaur. I predicted this and just went for the Willow. Um, and I figured, let's get some residual damage. Oh no, I went for the Pain Split, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, figured actually Chansey was probably going to come in. I was really expecting Chansey to come in here. Chansey did not come in. And so now, um, I am going to make a play that's a little bit perplexing giving my previous plays. I hard switch instead of volt switching. The reason for that was that I was under the impression that Venusaur got a boost to its speed upon Mega Evolving. That is untrue. Starts with base 80 speed, ends with base 80 speed. So, big mistake. I got into Star Fury, my Metagross. This is a meta me Mega Metagross. I'm not spoiling anything um, by saying that. I think I already said that earlier in the battle. Anyway, so he's got the Bisharp, so going for the Zen Headbutt would be a stupid play. So instead, while I, as I Mega Evolve, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Meteor Mash. Now, um, Skarmory, the way he's bringing it in, I am assuming it's probably a pretty safe bet that he is Rocky Helmet. 
and that sucks, um, because that means I'm going to be getting a lot of recoil. Yeah, so, and it's not very effective. He's probably a physically defensive build, uh, and that does a lot of residual damage to me, so I have to switch out. There's just no choice here. I go down to Billy D. Billy D. Williams is a physically defensive Landorus. It is not, it's not the standard Scarf set. Um, it's actually not even the standard physically defensive set because they run a few more, I mean, don't run the standard uh, four moves. So he goes ahead and lets a layer spike, and I realize I have really no way of stopping him from setting up all three layers. So considering I can't stop him from setting up all three layers, I figure, you know, let's get let's get my sp uh, stealth rock up because that way he might decide for whatever reason that he wants to defog. Assuming he carries the defog, that would be kind of stupid looking at his team because he's got no one who's particularly weak to stealth rock. But I figure, uh, let's just. You know, maybe for some reason he really wants his side pristine. Um, I hear go for the knockoff, um, because again, I have no way to prevent him from setting up all his layers of spikes. But what I can do is at least uh, make sure that if I bring Talonflame back in, who doesn't care about the spikes at all, then it can go for a Brave Bird or a um, uh, Flare Blitz without worrying about additional recoil. Here I just go ahead and you turn out just in case he wanted to switch out. I don't know whether he carries any offensive moves. I really have no idea whatsoever. Um, I go now out into Tachikoma. Uh, doesn't care about the stealth, uh, the spikes. Doesn't particularly care about the stealth rock. He goes for roost. So, so far I've seen three of his moves. Stealth rock, um, spikes, and roost. Not sure what the fourth one is. I'm going to guess Brave Bird, but there's no real way to tell at this point in the match. Um, so, he goes ahead and withdraws Skarmory. Probably a good move, and... Um, yeah, and then it's going to go right out into Mega Venusaur. Here, uh, I just figured that my best play in this situation was to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Um, because anyone who comes out is going to get some residual damage. I didn't think he was going to send out Heatran. I didn't think he was going to be that ballsy. My Willow misses, and that pissed me off. Uh, I go ahead and hard switch out again because, again, I'd forgotten about the whole, you know, no, I didn't know that it didn't get any you know, additional uh, speed. So here I'm down to 25 HP, and he's going to synthesize back up to full health. So I consider what I can do here. Um, his best play is to, is to switch out Venusaur, um, but I think he might think that I'm just going to roost or go for a setup move. Wouldn't go for a setup move, that doesn't make any sense. So instead I just go for the Brave Bird and decide, let's just get some damage off on whoever he sends in. He stays in, very much surprised me. I'm like, holy crap, I KO'd! It was because of the critical hit. Even, yeah, I mean, the critical hit 100% mattered. Even with the critical hit, I only had like a 50% shot of uh, Okoing. So, big hacks there, but you know, had I not KO'd, uh, he said he just went for the Leech Seed, thinking that I was just gonna set up or something, and, um, or Roost, rather. And so, I would have easily been able to revenge kill. Uh, so now, this is not a good situation for me. I don't know what kind of build of Keldeo he is, but I'm thinking if he's Scarf, well really he's going to outspeed no matter what. So I go back out into Tachikoma, um, hoping that he just goes for the Scald, which wouldn't be particularly scary. He does just go for the Scald, and um, does a decent chunk of damage. And here I missed during the during the actual battle, I totally missed that he, went, he had leftovers here. So I was still thinking he was either Scarf or Specs. Um, he's uh, probably, I mean, that's too low damage for specs, but I, I wasn't running calcs on, on that particular turn. Um, so he goes ahead and switches out and goes out into Chansey. I was kind of hoping that he would, and I'll explain why in about two seconds. So, you know, uh, I go ahead and Volt Switch out, and this is giving me a supreme opportunity to set up one of my quote-unquote win conditions. Um... I can go out now into Keldeo, and I get a free switch into this Keldeo, and I, I'm going to get a massive amount of damage from those rocks and those spikes. Um, actually, it was not that massive. I was surprised. It's, it's, I mean, I know how much damage three layers of spikes does, and it's not actually that much. So I go for sub here, thinking, you know, most chances aren't just going to attack first turn. Indeed, he goes for the Thunder Wave, and now I'm behind a sub. So he didn't know what set I was either, so, um, yeah, it wouldn't have would have made sense to attack if I had been... Um, on any other set than uh, sub CM. So here I go for Calm Mind, and now I'm at plus one, and I'm uh, I'm thinking, okay, he stayed in. That probably means he's going to have the seismic toss, and that's unfortunate. And I really wish I could stay behind a sub, um, but I can't. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, at least I'll get some damage onto this chancy. And then I go and run the Cal, and I see that a plus one. Secret Sword Oko's Chansey at that range. This is partially due to the fact that we're playing at level 50, so the attacks do slightly more damage. But yeah, um, I maybe it wasn't guaranteed, but it was pretty... I mean, I had a really good shot at after uh, Stealth Rock damage, 
and after the Volt Switch, of one-shotting that Chansey. So, it's gone. He's lost two of his very defensive Mons, and this is an amazing situation for me. Here, I spent a minute and a half trying to come up with my move, trying to figure out what should I should do in this scenario, who I should switch in, because I didn't want to stay in, because I knew this wasn't going to one-hit KO, um, and I ran out of time, and I ended up, I was like, okay, well, that's GG Keldeo. Keldeo survives due to what I suspect was a min damage roll. Um, I'll put up the exact, um, I mean, maybe he wasn't running, no, I mean, I'm running Timid, um, so we're running probably the exact same set. So here's the other thing. I win three speed ties here because, or four maybe, because, um, leftovers maybe times two, and then, um, yeah, maybe, I think he might, he, the answer might be he might be running Hidden Power Fire. That might be why I outsped every time. Uh, Serps, if you're watching this, I would love to get an answer on how that, how that happened, how I won all those speed ties. Okay, here. Um, I go for Scald, and I... I will tell you in the annotations... Oh, no, no, I did, I did the calc for this. That was a crit. The crit maybe mattered, but here's why I was very glad that I had the Stealth Rock up. It was completely worth it to have the Stealth Rock up so that that Skarmory would um, have its Sturdy broken. Uh, Skull, okay, so Scald was not a guaranteed one-shot, but it was pretty close. And now I'm at 54 HP. I resist Dark-type moves. And I'm thinking Sucker Punch or whatnot. I didn't think he... I thought he might not go for the Sucker Punch because I could have just gone for the sub or the... Well, not the sub, but the Calm Mind. Uh, no, I, I did have enough health for the sub. Anyway, I'm totally fine with, you know, Justified Boost ain't gonna do anything for me, but Sacred Sword just one-shot that Bisharp, it's a dead Bisharp. And so now all he has left is a Heatran. Um, and Heatran's not gonna be taking a Sacred Sword because it's not, well, even if it were Assault Vest, it wouldn't be helping it out because it hits on the physical side. So this was a, um, body bag sweep of my Keldeo, and I really didn't think, you know, he he was basic, he was taunting me when he accepted my battle challenge. He said, oh, you were ready to get wrecked? And I'm like, yeah, you probably am. I'm, you know, I haven't played OU and um, Wi-Fi in a really long time. So sorry about that buffering right there. Uh, so I won the match, and I was really surprised that I won the match. I am hoping to win additional matches with this team or with slight variants on this team. I'm not 100% satisfied with um, my pivots, uh, but, you know, I might, I'll probably switch some things out. Anyway comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Check out the link in the description. So long.